Hi everybody, it's Friday, March 27th, and I'm uh, just, you know, sitting here in isolation still. Uh, Jamie Whitmer, nurse practitioner, <clears throat> and I'm isolated currently with some uh, symptoms, fever and cough. Um, anyway, looking at the forecast today and tomorrow, um, here in central Illinois, uh, looks like there's a potential for severe weather today and a larger, more serious potential tomorrow even. Um, so I guess what I wanted to just say is start planning now for your, um, storm preparedness plans and also think about, um, <clears throat> how or if you need to adjust your plans for COVID-19. Now, in the event of a tornado warning, of course, that is an immediately life-threatening situation. Basically, regardless, uh, you need to get to safety. Um, and so what I'm going to be doing is keeping a very close uh, look at the weather. And where I'm currently at, no basement. Um, at my home, uh, we have a basement. <clears throat> so if it looks like tornadoes are... Uh, likely or, or there's a chance of tornadoes tomorrow I'm going to be uh, returning home which is really not what I want to do while still having symptoms um, but I'll isolate in my bedroom and if we have to take cover I'll be putting on an N95 mask and actually everyone at my house will also be wearing an N95 mask if you don't have access to your own N95 mask a surgical mask is better than nothing. Um, <clears throat> if you don't have either of those, you know, that's okay too. Um, try to, you know, when you get into your storm shelter basement or wherever the safe place is in your house, the further apart you can sit, the better. So if you can sit six feet or further apart from folks, you know, in your basement um, or safe room, great. But again, if not, if you have no mask, you have, um, you know, only a central closet, everybody's going to cram in there, risk um, has to be evaluated. And if there's a tornado warning in your area, it is uh, better for you to take shelter, even in a close um, area without a mask or anything else with someone having symptoms than um, to not take shelter. Again, COVID-19, 80% of cases are mild, 15% are moderate to severe um, and uh, require some level of hospitalization, but <clears throat> more than 95% of cases eventually will go home. Your chances may not be that good um, if your home gets hit by a tornado. So just to keep that in mind, um, COVID-19 does not necessarily mean that, um, you don't, uh, or it, it doesn't necessarily mean, it does not mean that number one, um, those of us in, uh, severe weather areas, we still need to be paying attention to the weather and we still need to take the same, um, safety precautions that are always recommended um, during severe weather. Again, take COVID-19 precautions if you can while you are taking the severe weather precautions. But if you can't um, maintain your COVID-19 precautions and you have a storm warning, the storm warning, particularly a tornado warning, needs to take precedence over your COVID-19 plan. So <clears throat> sometimes it comes down to um, choosing between two bad choices and very clearly the, the best choice in a tornado warning especially and um, even potentially a severe storm warning um, is likely going to be um, dealing with the imminent threat which would be the tornado. So um, again just my thoughts today of course I'm not speaking on behalf of any uh, employer or um, the radio show that I do, certainly my opinions expressed here are those of my own and my own alone. So I wish everybody good health and please do keep an eye on the weather if you're in an area that's going to be under the gun today and tomorrow.